This is Theme Park Thursday with Dillo's Days. Like, I took Joey Fatone on a date at, to Epcot Center. You know we, should, we need to do a deep dive into your relationship with Joey because... <laughs> I, what's funny is there isn't that much depth. In the, you know, like, but I'm, yeah, I'm happy, happy, to, happy to talk. He's, he's, he's one of those dear friends that just... It doesn't matter how little or how much time you spend. It's just he's always going to be Joey Fatone. It's always going to be Joey Fatone. Yeah. And it's always fine. So, yeah, I'm super, I think it's funny that, like, I don't know why that's such a thing. I don't know. <laughs> you mentioned it at 90s Con and poof, mm-hmm. you lit a flame. And it went, yeah. Like, people <laughs> picks it up. And I'm like, you guys don't understand. We were friends. Like, we were friends. Like, that's where we went to prom twice. Because it was safer. <laughs> <laughs> there was no drama. Like, we just went as friends. So. Yeah, I think people were trying to create a scandal from that story at 90s Con. Like, what do you know? They're both at 90s Con. What will happen? I'm like, I don't think anything. I think it's just. Yeah, well, because we were both. Well, that's really weird that we were both 90s phenomenons. That's weird. Yeah. Because by the time I was graduating from college, he was a phenomenon, Mm -hmm. you know, Mm -hmm. and I had like just grown up on a phenomenal show. Yeah. Right. Right. And so it was it was very strange that that all happened in the same decade. Right. Um, (laughs) My joke about Joey is that he was a ladies man and had everybody drive him around before he was a boy band member. So nothing changed for him. (laughs) So he's always been the same, always been the same. Nothing changed. 